a bunch of people. It's not a serious. It doesn't seem serious. And like, I want it to be. Believe me, nobody wants to see a more serious campaign from the, Cornell West and the third party than Jimmy Dore. Nobody does. But that's not serious because I, you can see that what's happening in Cop City and you still pretend you don't see the game. I don't know what you if, get out of that. Look, if the fight is but, between neo-fascism and Biden, the guy with just dimensions of fascism, but not dimensions the full, of fascism. I don't know how many equals a full fascism, but if that's that that bad of a, a thing, like maybe you should drop out of the race now, because the whole point of pulling both away from Joe Biden is to make him do it, Joe. To make, to right. Do something. But Trump could win, the ultimate neo-fascist. So if Trump's a neo-fascist, why are you running? Why, why, why wouldn't you be supporting uh, Joe Biden again like you did in 2020? So, it, and it, it, it it's an incoherent, yeah. it's a completely incoherent campaign message. Completely. Half the time he sounds like he's campaigning for Joe Biden. And more, I would say three quarters of the time, and when we talked, he sounded like he was campaigning for Joe Biden and the Democrats, because he talks just like a Democrat. And he sounds like a Democrat was just against the Ukraine war. And he's got to get much better if we if we're, if the third party is going to make a dent. He's got to get much better. And I, I really urge people who uh, have his ear, because uh, obviously I don't. And he doesn't even care about uh, it's just unbelievable. It's so disappointing. And again, I want to tip of the hat that he's doing this, that he's running. Right. He's got uh, balls and he's got a spine and he's got integrity. And he's got courage and uh, he's walked the walk his whole life. So 100 percent props to Cornell West. And that's why I'm so invested in him. If he was some charlatan trying to sell books, I wouldn't give a shit. But he's not. He's actual. He's a real deal. And so well, he doesn't have all the data and also doesn't want it. <laughs> he doesn't. have. That's, that's right. He just seems incurious about the, the damage that lockdowns did. Look what the damage he, he pretended to not get the point. Oh, this is so painful. And then he said that this wasn't the biggest. 41 percent of black owned businesses collapsed during covid. So that's not a big, it's not a big deal. They fired 70,000 workers in one state. Not a big, that's not a big deal. Oh, my God. We lost freedom of speech. We had forced medical treatments. <laughs> what the fuck? But, Jimmy, someone <laughs> took a shit in Pelosi's desk. That's But somebody took a shit. That's the difference. That's the big difference. They, he, he doesn't seem interested in finding out what actually happened on January 6th, that it was an FBI psyop, and that they'll do the same thing to Bernie Sanders. They'll do the same thing to him. You know all the white, that is he not he does not see the game. All the white supremacists, by the way, that they the tiki torch white supremacists that supposedly like Trump, they all dropped Trump and said, "Oh no, I like." <laughs> They've all dropped Trump a long time ago. And I know because CNN will interview them. That's why. That's why you have to know who Richard Spencer is because he's a CNN contributor. They were mad Trump didn't do enough to build so, the wall. And it's and this isn't fascism. The Joe Biden's administration wanting to censor. People? It's a dimension of it. It's a dimension. So when he crushed the union strike, which set the T, that you can't strike, it would have changed the whole tone. That's not course. That's fat. But it's it, it just it's no, he's campaigning it. for fucking Joe Biden. Three out of four sentences that come out of his mouth. Look, a guy with Viking horns almost conquered America that dark. Yeah, day. I know. A bunch of guys and, um, in buffalo helmets and pajama bottoms stealing a podium or somehow yeah, trying yeah. to overthrow the government. A bunch of Second Amendment gun nuts showed up at the Capitol. They forgot their guns when they were overthrowing the government. Gee, that is the dumbest fucking thing I've ever. We wouldn't have got if they had. <laughs> we wouldn't have gotten it back. <laughs> if, the, Boy. if that Viking hat guy had really if, like dug in, <laughs> that goodbye country. Oh, by the way, the peaceful but the fiery game. demonstrations <laughs> that happened, they all, the people that burned down police stations got less time in prison than the, That's black course guy, right. the black guy from the Proud Boys who wasn't even there got 22 years. So he, he, he miss, he's missing the game. He's missing the bigger game. And the big game is that the establishment now criminalizes anybody who is a threat. And that